now we can actually pull down uh, a few things. I'm going to pull down a couple of labels and a couple of text fields. These are single line uh, elements to which you can add text. And this one's going to be inventory. And this one is going to be uh, percent ownership. Okay, and then let's move this here and then this here. And now we're good to go. Let's tighten this up a little. Okay. Whoops. Let's make this blank. Oh, geez. Can I just... Can it just work? Okay, and then added text. No, I let that be good. Okay, uh, and let's, gosh, let's edit the text we got. Let's just say 100. That's an easy number to understand. Let's just do 0 0.50, 50% 50 ownership, inventory amount is 100. And now let's double click do stuff to display that action that happens. And now we're going to define some variables. Oh, geez. Okay. Yeah, we're good to go. Float. Should that be lowercase? I don't know. Yeah. Okay. I don't know why string isn't lowercase, but it's not. Um, I'll have to talk to Java the Java developer about that, the designer. Um, what do I got here? Inventory equals, and then we're going to need to uh, parse uh, float. We're going to take it from a string, um, which is Right now, we made those little text fields. Those are displayed right here, and their, their default names were J text field one, and we want to actually get the text from it, and that that'll work despite all the underlines. There we go. Um, oh, hit Control X to get rid of a line. By the way, that's pretty cool. So, just toast to that line. I, I actually copied it into the copy, copy buffer, so it's like a two for one deal. Now, now we want to do a new float. Whoops. Percentage ownership equals float parse float. Oh, I miss programming and things where you, you're explicit about everything. I miss it. Now we want to get it from the second text field. And by now you're probably wondering, why, oops. Now by now you're probably wondering, well, why did we stick with the default names? That's confusing. So we have to remember what we named each text field as we clicked and dragged it. Usually it works out that way. But if you're working with a team, you should really be more specific. So you can click on it. Right click on it, change variable name, and you want to start it out with something like txt, maybe even put in field, but uh, I like to keep it short and simple, text, and then the name, inventory, and do the same for this one, uh, text, ownership, okay, now I've made a mistake because this is percentage ownership, and it should just be ownership. Okay. And everything's good to go. And they're only, and this thing will still compile and run. They're only underlined in green because we aren't using these variables. Look at this. Oh, God. Okay, how embarrassing. All right. Um, <laughs> it's not going to tell us why. There we go. Variable ownership is not used at all. Now, Make a new float and let's call it math result. It's a little uh, vague, but that's how we do. And then we take inventory times ownership, and let's take whoops <laughs> period right period the end. 
<laughs> and that'll uh, compute, that'll take inventory times ownership, inventory times ownership, and put it into math result. This is a variable. Okay. And now, here is the math result. And we're going to just, it's that simple. That's going to display this to the screen, and it's going to actually create a new string. This screen, it's going to combine this string with this float, but it's going to convert the float into a string, so it displays on the screen nice and pretty. And uh, let's go ahead and test this out. And here's the math result, 50. Look at that down there. Here's the math result, and it computed it to be 50. Do you get that? If not, slow down and look at this. We had 100 here and 0.5 here. That 100 in inventory got sucked up. Look at this. It got The text got sucked up, converted into a float, which is like a number, and then put into this variable. The ownership got sucked up in the same way. It got sucked up. Get text. It got sucked up into there, put in there, and we didn't just drop it onto the ground. Like, look at this would have smacked right into the ground. We didn't just drop it onto the ground. We dropped it into this ownership variable. Very cool. Then we took inventory times ownership. Uh, and at this point, inventory was equal to 100. And ownership was equal to 0.5. And we, we didn't just drop that onto the ground. It, we didn't just drop it to the ground, which you can't even do in uh, in uh, whatever language it says, Java. I, we, we didn't drop it to the ground. We dropped it into math result. And then we took that math result, which came to be, you know, 100 times 0.5, which is 50. We took that math result, plugged it into here, and we displayed it to the user as, here's the math result, space, 50. Point zero because it was a float, you know. Floats always have decimals floating around somewhere in the number. So that's cool. Not only that, but you can do kind of sneaky stuff. Like this. I might have to do something. Hold on. Oh, cool. 50.1. So at the last minute, we just changed it. We just added 0.1. Pretty cool. Um, and, of course, we put that in parentheses because we're mathematicians. Okay, now, that's phase one. We we have a cool working program. If you can't get that to work, I did something wrong. Leave a comment. Um, phase two is like, hey, we're using a program language. Pop-up boxes? are a nuisance, they are annoyance, they make that noise like Pring! and they're not good to use. And we've got text elements, why don't we display it on the form? And so to do that, we, uh, we, we want to click and drag a label down there and then a button down there. And I'm just going to highlight those and copy and paste. So there, oh god, why is, okay, I don't like <laughs> I don't like Java, all right? I'm just going to say it. <laughs> sometimes. I don't like Java sometimes, okay? It's good. It's a powerful thing. Um, now I'm going to change this to be defer. Add a text. There we go. We've got a G entry, and we want the text default to be that. Oh, it's, it's working nice now. And we want it to not be enabled, uh, editable. So we click here, we clicked on it, we clicked here, and now look at what the result is of that little operation. We just created a new field, but we can't type into here. We can type into here all we want, but we can't type into here. Okay? So that's, whoa. So that's a problem. I went on that's pro That's not a problem. That's a good thing. That's really cool. So now. Now, we want to fill this box with the result instead of annoyingly printing it to the screen. So let's kill that off, make it into a comment. Oh, yeah. 
and let's rename the variable. So right click on that new text box. Wow, that takes a while. Change variable name. And we want it to be txt um, deferral. Okay, because that's <laughs> just ignore the math that I'm doing. It's pretty stupid. The def deferral, the G entry. And, and now we want to do txt deferral. I hope I'm spelling it right. Hold on. Text deferral. I'm probably spelling it wrong. My apologies. Dat set dext. Uh oh, click here. And uh, we're going to put in math result. The only problem with that is math result is a float and apparently Java isn't going to automatically convert anything you send into it to the proper thing. So you can we can convert it explicitly to a string by typing dot to string and it's a well, okay there's <laughs> more than one way to skin a cat in each language. Each language has its benefits. I just looked this up. Convert int to string. Go! Okay. Does it? Okay. Integer to string. That's how it works. All right. Integer to string. And that's going to produce. Ugh. It's a float. Okay, that's going to pre produce the desired effect. It's going to convert this thing, which happens to be a float, into a string. Um, and then it's going to set that to the text of deferral. Now, watch. Ooh, yeah, it just set it there. That's cool. That's pretty cool. So, um, that's a Java. That's that's a quick introduction to Java and how to work with it and how to do math with it. Oh my gosh, this took a lot of videos. There's a bug in a something or other. Uh, Cam Studio, so I had to do this a couple times, and my voice is very hoarse now. But I hope you had fun, and yeah, that's what I did today. <laughs>